Hello guys, today I want to quickly demonstrate a new package called Blade Flags by Mohammed Ashraf from Egypt and it's pretty simple but pretty powerful. If you want to have flags in your Blade files, you can use Blade components like these. So X flag language or X flag country with the country code. I've tried it, it works and let me show you how. So in the database I have something like this, so country with name and short code seeded from our old repository. So back in the day three years ago we've created Laravel useful seeds which is free on GitHub and I will link to that in the description below. But it's pretty outdated. The idea was that we would collect all the seeds here but at some point we saw that there is no really demand for that and there are other better repositories but if you want to use world countries repository you may try but I don't guarantee that the data of the world countries didn't change, but it does have database migrations and seeds. Anyway, I have this, and then in the demo project, I have just for each of the countries, just country all. And interesting thing, if you want to use one country specifically, it works, for example, for Brazil. Actually, let's comment out the final solution. And here's my list of the countries with Brazilian flag. So that works, as the package says. But if your flag is dynamic, then this doesn't work. I've tried to do that, and of course, obviously, dynamic name of blade component doesn't work. Or maybe I'm missing something here. Maybe there is a way to call the blade component with a variable. Let me know in the comments below. So if I refresh, now it doesn't show any flag, right? So the solution to that, if your flag is dynamic, is, according to the documentation, you can use raw icons by publishing the flags and then they are in your asset vendor folder and then you can use them like this as i did exactly that uncomment that and now i can use the parameter of variable country short code you can specify the width and the height as well and then on my page i refresh and i have the flags of all the countries listed alphabetically so that's it, a quick demonstration of a small package, but for those of you who work with countries with flags, maybe you're doing something for international sports, for example, like football World Cup or Olympic Games or whatever, then the flags are pretty important. If you want to find out more about Laravel packages, I have a separate collection on my Laravel Daily.com open source packages, currently 156 packages, and I keep adding more, so you can browse around here by topic, and discover something new for yourself. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.